platform, it's Ryan. I'm Dean Dobbs. I'm Corey. I'm Vigard. I'm Kevin Chapman. I'm Hannah Witten. I'm Michelle Elman. It's Callum. It's Dorothy. It's Daniel J. Layton. My name's Savannah Brown. My name is Jake Edwards. I'm here at the platform store at Sitsi. All of your favourite YouTubers are at this event, so we thought we would grab them to ask them some questions. One, what is their favourite adaptation that they have seen? And two, what book would they love to see adapted in the future? for their favourite item. Will's nodding, yes. It's very basic, it's Harry Potter. I think it would have to be the Harry Potter series. Do I have to pick one? Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Dang it. <laughs> what was the one with the... Which one is the best transformation? With the competition thing in, that What's-His-Face Out of Twilight was in. Goblet of Fire, thank you. They didn't do exactly what the book did, but it had the spirit of the book. I guess. Philosopher's Stone. Just because I love the idea of like the inter-house competition that they had at Hogwarts, just I would love to be part of that myself. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one. Does that count? It did something most of those movies don't really get to do: slow down and sort of soak up um, the characters' relationships and really like the sort of severity of the situation they were in. It felt more real because we got to actually hang out with Harry Potter. I mean, he went on a whole camping trip essentially. Um, it wasn't a nice camping trip, but. It was nice as an audience member. Um, I'll never forget the moment where Harry and Hermione had that gorgeous little dance. It felt, in a weird way, like I shouldn't have been there. That it felt like a real moment for me. And reading the book, it felt like that. And with this, it, it was such a similar feeling. Basically, I went on a camping trip with Harry Potter and he shared his deepest and most darkest thoughts with me. And it felt like an absolute pleasure to do it. So, I love you, Harry Potter. You're good, I like you. My favourite book to film adaptation is The Fault in Our Stars because I've had a lot of surgeries in my personal life. I started crying 10 minutes in and I did not stop till the end of the movie. It's kind of like, I've got two genres, two categories. One is any like Shakespeare or classic that has been turned into like a high school drama. So that would be like, she's the man, clueless, 10 things I hate about you. Like they are all pure gold and then my other category is just the Lord of the Rings films. Haven't even read the books, don't need to. The films are incredible. I think my favorite book to film adaptation is Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. Um, I love the book and the movie's different, but like just as amazing, I think. My favorite book to film adaptation is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which became the movie Love, Simon, because I love that kind of cheesy high school uh, cliche of a movie with gay content in it. I felt like it was the first time we saw like a big Hollywood production about an LGBT plus story and it's about a teenager and it has a happy ending and I feel like that's something we don't really see. My favourite book to film adaptation is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. It focuses on 16 year old Skye who witnesses her friend get shot and killed by police and it's about how she navigates that. I bloody love a film. I've been known to see many films. I'll tell you what, my favourite book to film adaptation, I think it's probably uh, Catching Fire, the second Hunger Games. I remember reading it and being like, no, this is no way filming. How is this going to possibly be turned into a movie? And they made it so closely sort of linked to the book. They really took it from page to screen, kept the vibe right, kept the performance right. And I was just astonished that at no point did I feel like the pacing was off, that it dragged. I really, if you haven't seen it, and you're not even that much of a Hunger Games fan, check it out. I really love The Shining. Um, I think that, that Kubrick sort of updated it in a really fascinating way and kind of subverted certain expectations of the original. Um, but I also really, really, really love Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. Um, and I think that's almost an example of the opposite, where it, you know, like the, 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 the author was the screenwriter, so she kind of uh, brought herself to the project, whilst with The Shining, Kubrick kind of did, like, you know, like, Stephen, Stephen King does not like The Shining film. He doesn't think it's like an accurate portrayal of his books. You may or may 
coming up now, some of our favourite Penguin Teen books are being made into TV shows or films this year. We've got like Artemis Fowl, Haste Up Materials, Knots and Crosses. So we thought we would ask them what is a book that they would love to see made into a TV show or film. Let's see what they said. The book that I would love for it to be made into a film is Holly Bourne's How Do You Like Me Now? It's my favourite fiction book and I've not stopped rereading it since it came out. And I would just love to see Tori in person on screen. And the one book I would like to see adapted into either a TV show or a film, maybe a TV show would work better for this, is a book called Wormwood, Gentleman Corpse. It was written by um, a guy called Ben Templesmith, and it is a book about um, basically um, space and paranormal things collide um, in the real world being like a, like a dark Shrek. That's essentially what it is. Um, <laughs> and the main character is a, is a maggot from outer space who has a knack for being a detective. And he hangs around in a, in a, in a corpse. So even though the body is the character, technically he's right here in the eye the whole time. And he solves crimes with his, uh, with his companion, uh, Pendulum. Uh, he's a clockwork man. And he's just a bit of a geezer. He's quite funny. Um, he's an idiot and plenty of people call him out on it and it's just a lovely little story about how a worm learns to be a good person which I relate to because I'm also a bit of a worm. <laughs> and the book that I most want to see adapted into a film is The Power of Five series by Anthony Horowitz because it's something I read when I was like 12 years old and it looks really good like in my head it was visually stunning and I just want to see that brought to like 3D IMAX kind of film stuff. Um, and they've got a lot of good characters that you could really get your teeth into when you're acting. I don't know, I just think it'd be good. Literally all the books I've read, I feel like all my favourites, have been turned into films already or have been adapted into something. But if I think something could be adapted into something else, maybe Perks of Being Wallflower could be a series? Because I feel like that could be a really good series. We're going quite deep here. I'm a graphic novel nerd. I would look, and it's a specific one, I want the Matt Fraction, David Aha version of Hawkeye to be turned into a movie or preferably a TV series just because it is my favourite comic book series of all time and uh, I just want to see it come to life on the big screen because I think it would be brilliant. And people always say, I'm, when people say, Kev, what's your favourite Avenger? And I go, Hawkeye. And they're like, what? That book is why Hawkeye is my favourite Avenger and people need to learn why. The book that I would love to see as a film is The Falcon's Malteser by Anthony Horowitz, which is his like comedy um, buddy cop detective series. Um, and I think it's really funny and I think that they would make a really great series. The book that I would like to see turned into a movie is Vivian versus the Apocalypse. It's basically about this girl in America, there's like this new church called the Church of America that a lot of people are flocking towards and they've predicted the rapture and her parents are like super into it but her and all of her teenage friends are like, what? No, this isn't true. And so on the night before the rapture, her and her friends are like, let's go to a rapture party. We're having a rapture party. She gets home the next morning and her parents are gone and there are two holes in the ceiling. And then hilarity and a road trip and mystery ensues. I want to see that on screen. I'm cheating a little bit because it's by a friend of mine. Um, but it's A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Um, it's so, when you read it, it's just filmic in and of itself. And I think it would make an amazing, suspenseful, wonderful mystery. The book that I would most like to see turned into a film is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, which is a young adult fiction, but uh, sort of fantasy themed. It's quite like Harry Potter, but it's gayer taking up space, uh, the Black Girl's Guide to kind of University. And I think it would be really interesting to see that book, uh, to see a film about a black girl going to university with those kind of lessons and ideals applied to it. I think it'd be really fascinating and very helpful as an instruction manual. I would love to see Alice Oseman's Heart Stopper turned into a TV show or a film. I think it's just an amazing graphic novel which tells the story of a very young gay couple. And I know that's a very simple thing, but I think we need more representation, so I'd love to see something like that on the screen. The book I most want to see turned into a movie is called All My Friends Are Superheroes. It is this absolutely sensational novella uh, that is just the most tender, funny, heartwarming, heartbreaking little story, all packed into about 89 pages. A book 
that I would love to see uh, adapted into a film uh, would be Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley. Uh, it's a graphic novel uh, by the guy who did Scott Pilgrim, that's probably his most famous uh, uh, book, like comic series, um, and obviously I loved the Scott Pilgrim film, uh, but I think like an animated version of uh, Seconds would make such a lovely film. It's quite a small story, it might even just be a short film, uh, but I just think the, it would really lend itself well to the screen, so hopefully one day. Thank you so much for watching, we hope you enjoyed the video. In the comments below, let us know the answers to both of those questions. We would love to hear what your thoughts are. And as always, subscribe for more bookish videos. Okay, we can do this. We can... <laughs> this is great. Keep all of this in, this is great. This is really, we can use this. It's fine, we'll make it work. Context for people who are watching this, because I know that Will will keep this in the end video. Um, will is approximately 10 meters away from me with this camera, and so no one realizes he's filming me when they're just walking like they would normally do. As you may or may not know, uh, some of our best young adult and teen literature is actually being adapted for TV or film this year. So we have. So we. <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell us in the comments below what adaptation you have loved, and subscribe for more bookish videos. <laughs> he is to blame for it. Look at how much he's enjoying this. He can hear me through the mic and he thinks it's the funniest thing in the world. Thanks, guys. <laughs>